you find harmony inside yourself first. That's where it is. And a part of the test and the challenge is that you have to practically demonstrate to existence that you are ready and you graduate and you can be in this place. So then your vibration starts to rise you're vibrating to a higher frequency to enter fifth dimension, to enter, to have access to the fifth dimensional part of yourself by raising your vibrations. But as you're raising your vibrations, you have to go through the cloud in order, let's say you have a big cloudy, uh, foggy field and you rise, you know, you have an airplane or a helicopter is rising above it. You have to rise above the cloud. So in order to come to clarity. And the same thing. You got to demonstrate that you're worthy by practically going through your fears and anxieties and concerns by staying completely connected at all times to the center of yourself. And that's why we do this work. That's why we come together. That's what satsang is about. It's the association of the monks on the path, association of coming the lovers of the truth coming together in satsang to sit together and by using the power of collective to come back into the center to remember who we are and to to have this affirmation of who we are and that's why we have spiritual centers spiritual groups Otherwise, the other world, the media, is not going to give this to you. They're going to stir up the pot all the time with something else. Today is corona disease. Tomorrow, you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, they came with AIDS, and they stirred up the pot with AIDS. And then now they're coming up with this. And then they're going to come up with 5G technology. There's always going to be something. It's never going to end. So you can't look for peace in the other world because you're not going to get it. You have to find it inside yourself. And to find it inside yourself, you have to do the work. You have to be attentive. You can't just be in the illusion and asleep. You have to just wake up to the truth of who you are. And then as you do this, your vibration starts to rise. You come, you elevate above the fog, about the bullshit, about the stuff. You can see it from where you're at. You can see like this is blah, blah, blah. This is the world. This is the world of fear and anxiety and jealousy and competition of anger and separation. You can see it. You come up here. You see the shit, but you have elevated above it. And it's not touching you anymore. There's no other way. There's no other way. Yeah, I'm going to unmute you. Hi, Lynn. Hello, Sarastra. Yeah, hello. Hi, nice to talk hello. to you. It's not so easy to see me because I am laying on my sofa. <laughs> That that's fine. It's okay. okay. I see your yeah. take. So that's good. Yeah. So, yes, nice nice to see you, and then very nice to 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 join your webinar. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad you're able to do it, and um, you know, you know, we have vacation here in, in Norway now. You it's, have uh, it's winter. It, we have vacation. It's winter uh, vacation. Okay, right now it's winter vacation. Okay. So I have yes, I'm free from work. So. 
<laughs> okay. I guess. Only relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> That that sounds good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. you, you, you need it. it it's yeah. I I, yeah, I I I relax. I think that's good for me. And uh, listen to to uh, videos and webinars and it's very good. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm happy you're here. I'm happy that you're sharing, and we all need to be reminded to come back to our center. Mm. And uh, and I believe you, you were with us when we were doing our meditation, right? Yes, yes, I was. Did you go to a deep uh, spate of silence and quiet mm. place? Yes. Right. I, I try to do it every morning. Right. So when you I, come to this... Go ahead. Yeah, but, but, but usually I, I use it during the day. But uh, I, I take uh, 10 or 20 minutes every morning before right. I dress and uh, because I, I think it's very good for me to, to start the day uh, very calm and quiet yes inside. exactly exactly especially when you start it, you start your day by getting centered it's like rechecking yes. back and then you operate from this place throughout the day mm. and if something happens disturbs you or whatever which there's always something that's gonna happen, mm. you check back and you come back to the center by bringing your attention to the center. Mm. And as you bring your attention back to your center, you see how quiet it is. It just, you come back to this place and everything comes down, everything gets quiet. uh sky hi sky i'm gonna unmute mute you and we can have a chat hi sky hi everyone sky. yeah hi hello nice nice to see you thanks nice to have you with us yeah i missed the meditation but i got the tail end of it uh, i just i went for a run but okay. I just wanted to talk a little bit about fear and worry. And okay. so I've, I've been able to feel the stillness and to feel that, you know, that I'm, you know, part of all that is and, and the awareness, you know, the, whatever the observer consciousness, but in the moment, I, I still am working through a bunch of irrational fears that come up and they, they catch me a bit off guard. If I'm doing a little project, uh, like the other day I was doing a project and I felt, well, I ordered the wrong rock for a, a project I was doing. Anyway, it goes into like a lot of self incrimination and, and feeling like I've done something wrong and there's going to be a terrible, right. you know, punishment. So a lot of inner, and I've been working for years on this and a lot of inner um, attacks happen kind of spontaneously. And I did have some things in my childhood that could contribute to that. And so I, I do active therapy on it, but I'm open to any suggestions you have on working through you know, the irrational fears that come up. Right. Yeah. So when the fear rises for you, right? So there is a there, there is a part of you that is aware of it, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So even though that you fall into it and you get entangled in this in, internal battle, this talk, this thing that is happening whatever we want to name it but there is still an awareness of its happening 